So I've seen probably about eight students come through our program that have been intimately involved with our amateur radio payload. Um, and the good thing with the students is that, like myself in, in general life, everything I like to do is hands-on. And I think learning by doing is, is just so much more stronger and much more powerful. Um, and CubeSats are a good way to do that, but actually this is another way of doing it as well. And I would much rather prefer flying on a microsat as a, as a secondary payload. I guess one of the most uh, important things that we got out of the project uh, was that we, we learned to see things closer to the way that ESA sees. In the projects there is a big difference if you read about phases of the projects and what you're supposed to do and doing it uh, in real time. Because it's different to, to be at home and read about it and uh, to try to work on the things and try to meet the deadlines. Uh, I had to learn that how to work in a group and, uh, and how to work, uh, work uh, with, uh, with uh, endorsing professors. I've got a lot of hands-on experience uh, regarding the, the electronic design and also the manufacturing uh, and the production and the testing process that is required uh, in a space project. Uh, from my point of view, I, uh, I think I'm very lucky for being involved in this project. Um, I had the opportunity to understand uh, the entire design process of a subsystem for spacecraft. I just uh, always had a passion for space technology and uh, I wanted to take part in a, in a serious experiment. Mm, the biggest lessons that I've learned is the complexity of, of a space-related project. I used to start uh, working uh, uh, with a team of Trital when I used to be a PhD student. And now I am a, an associate professor at the Department of Electronics Technology. And at the beginning, I used to be a student, and now I am supervising the students who are working on the project. And the, the, the most uh, valuable uh, experiments regarding to, to this project is how to inherit the knowledge that we have gained. Uh, we learned how the mission design process looks like, what prepared us uh, better for the future with doing uh, business, starting our own businesses, uh, doing other projects. So ESEA was a great opportunity for me to work on a hands-on project. Um, I designed um, parts of the PCBs myself and then we manufactured it. And it's a great thing to actually build the hardware you designed. And uh, this was actually a, a main selling point for me when I applied for Airbus for a job and the reason I got a job there as well. Actually, I, I think it's, it's really a fun, but uh, on the other, other hand, to be a part of a space uh, program and uh, uh, to, to be pa uh, part of the developer team for, for this uh, payload on the ESEO spacecraft. But on the other hand, it's, it's, uh, we really have to be also professional in the sense that uh, we have to fulfill or the, our payload have to fulfill uh, uh, very strict requirements. Uh, to be honest, I have to consider this maybe the most important project of my entire career. Did we expect to have so many problems? No. <laughs> Are we proud of what we did? Absolutely.